Josh Kelly, well the way currently six and all fight for the Commonwealth title. Um, follow the sport icons. So what do you all think of the potential fight between Josh Kelly and Brandon Rios? I like this fight. Is it a step too early for Josh Kelly? Who knows? Now, Brandon Rios, um, American, 34 wins, 25 of those by stoppage, four losses and two knockouts. In other words, he's been stopped twice and, and he does have a draw on his record as well. He's had um, a trilogy of fights with Mike Alvarado where he's won two of them and lost one of them. Um, he also lost to Manny Pacquiao, lost to Timothy Bradley and lost to Danny Garcia earlier this year. Now, Josh Kelly, of course, is the Commonwealth welterweight champion and fantastic. I mean, for me, I believe that Josh Kelly is one of the people who will be one of the stars of British boxing in the future and a world champion in the making, no doubt about it. And this is what Josh Kelly said to Sky Sports about all this. So again, thank you to Ethan for sending me this article. So Josh Kelly's statement, I feel ready for anyone. I've had a bit of time off and I've been ticking over, but now I'm ready to jump back in. I've heard that I'm out next in November. I'll leave it all to my team though and keep my head down until I get news of a date and opponent. I'm not one to mouth or fighters. If Adam Booth thinks Rios is the next fight, then we'll do it. I'd be happy with it. I'm not scared of anyone and this is boxing at the end of the day. I'm in a sport to be the best. Rios can come and get it. I'm a Commonwealth champion after seven fights and beat Molina for the WBA international title before that. I never thought it would all happen so quickly, but we are now reaching new expectations. What we've been saying after fights that I do lose concentration here and there, and I know it can be a bit frustrating for the people watching. I don't like to be dis disrespectful, but I can get bored in a fight. I solve the puzzle quickly, and then it's cruise control from there. I want to get to a point where I can't afford to switch off. That's when the best version of me comes out and it will happen once I step up. Rios is a fighter that will force it out of me. He's been there, done it and will keep me switched on. I know he'll make me go through the levels and gears. It's what I want and need. So that is Josh Kelly's statement. So, you know what? I would love that fight, to be honest. In Josh Kelly's eighth fight against a very seasoned Brandon Rios, he's been there, he's done it. I mean, he's never been world champion, of course, but, you know, um, he, he's always been on the crisp of it. And this is a very, very good test for him. And like he says, you know, he does switch off. Um, he, I mean, he, he never gives rounds away or anything like that, but he does get tagged needlessly at times because he, I know, he does get bored and he does see boxing as a puzzle. And he finds his range very, very quickly and he knows how to beat his opponent within the first couple of rounds. And that's what makes him very, very exciting. And of course he gets bored with it. So he tends to play with his opponents. And at the kind of level that he has been fighting at, as in like Chris George last time out in Newcastle, which um, I was there live watching him do it. And for me, he put on a very, very good display. And Chris George, he had to stop, um, was it round seven, I think it was. And either way, you know what? I like the fact that Josh Kelly is talking about this. Um, you know what, as he says, he's not really one for um, slagging off opponents or anything like that. He will just do whatever it is that he needs to do. He'll fight anybody. Um, he really will. And I rate him very, very highly. I think that uh, Josh Kelly could go on to become a world champion and a household name in the UK. And with a welterweight division as well, pop him, especially in America. For me, I can see Josh Kelly going to America at some point and taking on not only like, like the likes of Brandon Rios, but ultimately a Thurman, a Spence, a Crawford, all these kind of guys in the future. Not yet, not yet. I mean, I think right now he'd give a good account of himself against these people. He really would, and he'd steal a lot of rounds. Um, but I think that uh, experience may overwhelm him right now. But then again, it's as, as Adam Booth said, and of course Adam Booth, he told me as well, that you will only see what Josh Kelly's got when he's up against it. Then he's a totally different fighter. He is switched on and he is deadly and one of the best out there. He's a real gem in the box, as Adam Booth would call it. So yeah, already he's got wins over Chris George, of course, who was um, the Commonwealth champion from Australia. And of course, a WBA international welterweight champion after beating Carlos Molina. And I'll keep on saying it, I think that Josh Kelly could well be one of the next big things, if not the next big thing.
but ultimately he does need to stay switched on because Amir Khan has that problem as well. All the skills in the world, but when he switches off, he'll get tagged and he could get tagged by the wrong person at the wrong time. And that would change his whole perspective on things as it did with Amir Khan. But I don't consider Josh Kelly and Amir Khan in like the same kind of category. I think that um, Josh Kelly does trade and he trades very very well so if somebody comes to war he'll go to war whereas um, Amir Khan can do it but sometimes if he gets tagged in the wrong place he goes down we've yet to see Josh Kelly in any kind of trouble maybe a Brandon Rios fight might do that it might kind of like make him go you know what I need to stay focused fully on this one get him out of there or just win on points so anyway if that fight happens great is it too early for him well you guys let me know, and of course let me know where do you think Josh Kelly's future is. Do you think that he will be a world champion as I do? Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.